hello everyone so recently i have bought this jst m1 pro microphone it's a lightweight lavalier omnidirectional electric condenser microphone uh, so in this video i will try to do a detailed unboxing as well as testing uh, this is the front side of the box this is like the one of the sides this is the back side and this is the other side this is the top portion and this is the, like the bottom one so now to give you guys a better size like how big or small the box is i'm gonna measure it with a measuring scale as you can see like uh, it's about seven inch by four and a half inch on the front side and the depth of the back is like two inch uh, now on the back let's see what's written there so on the back uh, it's the features which are written the features the specifications uh, like as you can see the accessories they missed the they missed one of the accessories over there but yeah i'll show you okay on this side there's nothing much on the front it's the same thing as you saw at the beginning of the video nothing much and the same thing like it was on the other side now uh, this was like complete different seal that was surrounding that the main box the box that was holding all the components in this was the this is like the poster thing and this is the main box that i was talking about like when you open it there's like the first thing you get to see is that manual legendary manual guide that you always see but we never read anyway like at the end of the video i will uh, attach clear pictures of what's actually written in that manual guide uh, now let's get back to the box uh, so after the manual guide is this a uh, carrying case you can say like it's the carrying case or carrying box that we got and then um, everything like all the components are definitely inside this box this is like this box is not very soft it's like quite hard mm, probably it can save the components inside it's a good thing good thing like i would say it's better than the boya we only get a pouch with the boya, boya m1 pro uh, so after you open this box we see this like uh we got this like one battery and few other components i see we'll show it later let's gonna let's move it aside now uh, the next thing we got is the main thing the thing we bought it's like the <laughs> bunch of cables and the microphone now we see it it's a greeting sticker you can say like it's just a paper it was not a sticker it's just a paper now the non-edible non-edible silica gel and this is the thing i was talking about that we missed in the is uh, contents like the description box like what's containing inside the box so like the main reason why i bought this microphone instead of the boy by m1 pro like this windshield and now let's get back to that plastic uh, packet uh, so the first thing we see in the packet is this one tiny battery this battery goes inside that cylinder shaped thing on the microphone and okay so this plastic inside plastic so this is a 3.5 mm to 6.5 mm connector and i'm already holding a wind screen sponge 
and this is the color clip um, that is all we get from this plastic packet and now let's move to the next component and it's the so it's the wire hold it tied with another wire <laughs> Uh, like in the description they have mentioned that it's like 20 feet long cable which is equivalent to 6 meters and now this is a microphone that electric condenser very lightweight and that's the foam windscreen and after the foam windscreen we see yeah it is indeed a long cable it's like never ending okay now finally and um, the cylinder shaped thing the portion i was talking about uh this is the one the battery also goes inside it this chamber is completely made with metal maybe it's aluminium i don't know it looks exactly same like the one we get from B1 I mean the boy I am one sorry my bad and you can see it has only like one switch and it's a toggle switch which can either turn on and turn off the camera mode and off is the smartphone mode like if you use this microphone in laptop or smartphone then you have to keep it turned off if you want to use this microphone in DSLR camera then you will need to keep the switch on the camera mode. two hours later finally we reach the end now this is that 3.5 mm jack which can also go inside this 6.5 mm adapter now this clip this clip is like basically the copy of the clip from Boya BYM1 Pro it's exact same looking but I must say one thing that, that this clip was a bit steep it was it was very hard like it was too strong maybe the spring was too strong but it was fine maybe with some uses it will get loose now this is the wind screen this thing really is very helpful it's like a type of filter it filters all the blowing air noise and also is one thing that we don't get with the boya vym1 pro like both of these microphones are same same thing same looking same everything is same except this one difference like we get this filter with this JST Pro but we don't get it with the Boya BYM1 Pro. Now as I have said that I will also test this microphone in this video. Yes, so the whole video was recorded like my voice was recorded using this microphone. Uh, these are the pictures of the manual that I tried to take as clearer as possible with my smartphone. You can uh, pause the video on every pictures to if you wanna read out what's actually written here and anyway I know the video I made like I edited this one is not even nearly as good as like <laughs> the worst one but anyway 
I'm like learning and trying. Have a good day.